Planes, planes, planes. All right, everybody loves them, and they got a lot down here. You got them outside, you've got them inside at the Alberta Aviation Museum, and guess what? They have acquired a plane they've been waiting for for a long time. Part of Canadian, and most importantly, Edmonton aviation history. All right, Tom, gonna tell us all about it. The aircraft that we have here is the Starfighter. Originally built by Lockheed, but Canada built over 200 of them here. 200 for the Canadian Armed Forces, another 140 that went to other countries. And being Canadians, we couldn't leave it alone. We tweaked it. So the Canadian 104 is the fastest of the 104s. It's a legacy aircraft. This was the fastest aircraft in the sky. Now imagine to yourself, 815 meters per second is how fast this aircraft flew. Today's CF-18, a great aircraft, 626 meters per second. So it's an iconic aircraft. It typifies the Cold War era. As far as this beast is concerned, this has uh, been a lifelong love affair for me ever since I first uh, tangled with him in 1967. And uh, with the Dutch version, we're going to convert it over to a duel that crashed up at Coal Lake. Both pilots survived, thank God. And uh, we're going to make this airplane look like that one when we're done. And it's going to take quite a bit of work, but mostly the, the biggest project involved as far as size is concerned is the exterior, which has to be stripped, painted, and polished. Well, it's got to be a dream of mine ever since I was a kid, okay? I always wanted to step into a fighter plane, all right? Here it is, the F-104 at the Aviation Museum. They're going to be getting it all fixed up, repainted, put together. I know it's a dream for Tom and Neil and all the gang working here. Oh my goodness. You know, the only problem is I used to get nauseated when I went on the merry-go-round, so I don't know if I really ever made a fighter pilot, but you never know. Man, I feel more powerful. Top Gun! Here in Alberta, we were Starfighter Central. Cold Lake was where you had to go to learn to fly the Starfighter. 417 was the operational training unit, 417 Squadron in Cold Lake, still exists today. Our Edmonton connection, which is what makes it so important for the museum, is not only all the personnel that worked on it, all the pilots that came from Edmonton, but the Canadian starfighters were overhauled here in Edmonton at Northwest Industries. We were the center of aerospace technology in Western Canada and many parts of the world, overhauling the most sophisticated aircraft of the day right here on City Centre Airport. Final comment, they said, Neil, uh, sorry, we're sending it somewhere else. You can't work on it now. Would you be a bit disappointed, Neil? No, i got a way of getting inside it and going with it. Well, there you have a quick representation of what the plane will basically look like when it's done. You know, there's the wings attached. Of course, it probably won't be silver, will it, Neil? No, he's shaking his head. And there it is now, the pride and joy of everyone down here at the Aviation Museum. If you want to see the plane when it's finished, they're saying maybe this summer looking real good. I hate to say for sure, because you never know, but I'm pretty sure this summer you will be able to see this plane completely reassembled and painted and looking beautiful. A piece of, of course, Canadian aviation history, but Edmonton aviation history, as you heard everything that took place with this plane. And we got a lot of dedicated guys down here, maybe some gals that will be working on this, all right? So make sure you check it out, F-104. Brad Walker, Shaw TV, we'll see you next time. Whoosh! Shoo!